the Heisman Trophy. Right now, there's a lot of people that have Cam Ward at the top of their Heisman list. They have Jackson Dart at the top of their Heisman list. And truthfully, neither one of those two teams has played anybody. Yes, Miami played Florida, but that's literally it. And oh, South Florida. South Florida does, can't throw the ball. They have a good team outside of quarterback. That's where they struggle at. So Cam Ward is doing a really good job. They showing off, they pointing to people, they showing you where they gonna run the ball. Miami is feeling themselves. They got their swagger up on a hundred thousand trillion. But we gotta see what happens when they run up against somebody that got something. And that's where we're gonna see who Miami is. Because it's easy when you are more talented, you're running guys over, your guys are bigger, faster, stronger. The quarterback can't throw the ball against you. It's easier to win then. Your confidence is going to be high. And then Jackson Dart, I challenge you to name three players from the teams that Ole Miss has played. Three. If you can name three players from all the teams, then you deserve all the credit in the world. Ole Miss has played Furman, Middle Tennessee State. They played Georgia Southern and they played Wake Forest. As a matter of fact, if there are six NFL players on those rosters, name them, please. And so that's why I am not putting Jackson Dart on my Heisman ballot in any yet. But those stats will matter, which he's putting up crazy numbers. But this feels like a Jaden Daniels last year, except for the fact that his defense was so bad that no matter who they played, he was having to score a lot of points. And right now, Jackson Dart's just piling up stats against teams that don't really matter right now at the top of the Heisman ballot right now is Travis Hunter. Travis Hunter has to be at this point in time, the person that is going to be holding the Heisman trophy at the end of the year, because what we're seeing out of this young man is unreal. He hasn't even missed 30 snaps in their first four games on offense or defense combined 30. Had he missed 30? Are you kidding me? and he's playing at a high level at wide receiver. And in fact, he is the best and most important person on this Colorado team. And people are like, well, they're not a national championship contender. What does that matter? Well, they're three and one right now, and they would be 0 and four if it were not for Travis Hunter. The dude is 100, over 100 yards a game receiving. He's d up in their most recent game against Baylor. In overtime, he was the one who made the hit to fumble the ball out of the back of the end zone for Colorado's win. He's doing everything for this team. And think about the last time, and, and if you guys want to make the Heisman Trophy just a quarterback award, okay, cool. Like, that's, that, that's fine, and I'll stop this conversation right now. But if we're going to make it about the best player in college football, how is it not Travis Hunter? I don't care if they lose every rest of the game. If he keeps playing like this, what else do you want the man to do? Because the last time a defensive player won the Heisman Trophy, it was Charles Woodson. What was he doing? Playing defense and returning punt. He didn't give you nearly the production offensively that Travis Hunter is giving. So Travis Hunter is giving you the lockdown D that, Travis, that Charles Woodson was, plus the offensive production that we got out of the last wide receiver Heisman Trophy, Devonta Smith from Alabama. So he's giving you the offense of the Heisman Trophy winner, Devonta Smith, and the defensive play out of Charles Woodson combined. How do we not look at that and say that that's the Heisman Trophy winner? Make it make sense. And Shadour Sanders would not be able to be nearly as successful as he is right now without Travis Hunt. Find me a player on a team that is more valuable to their team than Travis Hunt. Quarterback, running back, wide receiver, D lineman, anybody. So he's their second most important offensive player because the quarterback is pretty much always more. He's the most important player on defense, and he might be the best wide receiver in the country and one of the best DBs in the country. If y'all want to make it a quarterback award or say it's only for national championship caliber teams, okay, cool. But you bucked that last year with Jaden Daniels. And I think that this, this has to be the year that we get the Heisman back to being special in terms of the best player in college football and not just one of the best players in college football on the best team or the best quarterback on a great team. We got to stop that.